Well, the countdown is on Gasparilla, just four days away, and that means the Pirates, well, they've already made their way to Tampa Bay. Look who we found over here! We got you the mayor! Oh, no! Pirates from Ye Mystic Crew of Gasparilla descended upon Tampa City Hall, taking Mayor Jane Castor hostage after she refused to hand over the key. She met with Captain Truett Gardner, trying to negotiate a peaceful surrender, but they weren't willing to negotiate. Their message, surrender now or face the invasion. Yeah, that negotiation never goes well. It never guessing, goes yeah. quite as planned. But with all of the fun also comes some safety concerns, large crowds, alcohol, an all-day party. Well, that all adds up to challenges for law enforcement. 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Rogers has spent weeks going behind the scenes, looking at how our officers are getting ready, and he joins us now in studio. Chris, this year's Pirate Fest is expected to be much, much bigger than last year. Josh Courtney, with better weather expected and more people willing to come out and celebrate in a post-COVID world, police tell us they're gearing up for record crowds. We've shown you how extra patrols will man the waterways and choppers will keep an eye on things from above. But one of the biggest challenges is for those on motorcycles and on foot in the crowds themselves. But police tell us they're ready. This is game day for us. We are very excited about Gasparilla. For the Tampa Police Motor Unit, while there's an element of show, but it is a lot of fun and I think it's a big crowd pleaser. The crowd likes watching that um, when we're coming at each other. Um, we also do 360s um, circles as a group. Their primary job is safety and crowd control. A lot of people like to claim spaces. Um, they'll go and rope out an area at Gasparilla and one of the things that we do is as we're going down a parade route, we look for things like that and we remind them you can't do something like that. The motor unit is just one element of a large ground force. We'll be out there in uniform, we'll be out there in plain clothes. So we're going to have a high presence. A high visibility job that comes with its own dangers. The little hazards at Gasparilla are the beads on the ground. Um, they'll wash your front tire out on you, you know. And also, we've had some incidences where you're doing, and all of a sudden you get hit in a helmet with a bead. Just another way law enforcement and the city is getting ready for what could be a record-setting event. I feel that this is going to be the biggest Gasparilla ever. Police say their ground officers are trained to look for alcohol-related offenses as well. Whether it's underage drinking or getting behind the wheel of a car while drunk, they say they'll be watching whether you see them or not. Reporting in studio, Chris Rogers, 10 Tampa Bay. All right, right now, take out your phone, scan this QR code. You're definitely going to ha want to have this. It takes you straight to our comprehensive Gasparilla guide. It covers everything from the event schedules to parking, the very important bathroom locations, <laughs> safety tips, and so much more.